What's up guys, Jason here, Morph Mixology Reptiles. Uh, not in the snake room, obviously. This is, I'm super excited to be here. This place is insane. I'm sure that all of you already follow Brian Barczyk and know that he built the Reptarium last year. And probably the most instrumental part of that build was this place. I'm at Universal Rock in Dallas, Texas. This place is insane. They make some really, really crazy stuff. All of this is like rubber. It's not, none of this is, uh, it's all real, but none of this is real. So Stuart has invited me in. He's showed me a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna cruise through here and kind of show you a little bit what's going on. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff he makes. Hopefully find him and talk to him a little bit. Let's go inside. This place is nuts. All right guys, so the crazy thing about this place is uh, Stuart told me that everything that you will see with the exception of any live animals, they have made. All of these trees, they made. All of these animals that are on display, they made. This place is ridiculous. So obviously in Brian's videos and in the Reptarium, you see all the fascias on the cages, all the interiors that they made the banyan trees that they put, stuff like that. But they make all kinds of cool stuff. Like, obviously they make animals that you can put in your yard. Um, they make big ass waterfalls. That thing's probably 10 or 12 feet tall in the back. Um, they got little waterfalls for like your normal yard. One of the cool things that he showed me over here is they're actually building uh, pools and hot tubs now. So instead of just putting a generic concrete pool in your in the ground in your yard build one with a cave and a big ass waterfall and you get these cool rock features like you know you can sit on the sides and put rocks that you can sit down on the ground and stuff like that this entire thing up here he's just this is kind of prototyping at the moment this entire structure was made from all the stuff he has all of these like vines for handles they've got metal inside so you can hold on to them and now they're working on hot tubs, fully, full units. They built the entire thing. They built the structure underneath. They built the waterfall, all of the water features. They're gonna be uh, LED lights, all computer controlled, the whole nine yards. Like, it's, this place is nuts. They even build cool little boxes that you can put your TV in next to your hot tub that pop up so that you can watch TV. Wow, you get your hot tub game on. That's just crazy. Another pool they're working on, as an example, all of this is gonna flow. These doors, look how tall these doors are. These doors are probably 12 foot or so. They're fake. They're, they're made out of exactly the same material as all of the rest of these cages. They're just panels. Just panels that are glued to the front of the wood. Super cool. Hey, look it, I found an animal. So obviously Stuart didn't make this, but really, really pretty red iguana here. All right, so this next room I'm in here is their foam room, among other things. But there's like ridiculously big blocks of styrofoam in here and bags of thousands of little cubes of styrofoam. They make all kinds of goofy stuff here other than just the rock features that you're used to seeing. These are all like scraps from uh, builds that they do. They got these big ass blocks on a project they're working on now, but they can make all kinds of stuff. Obviously, if you think of like a sign, a big sign that would go on a building, um, they can be huge and really heavy. So for instance, this, this is the Ford logo. I don't know if you can tell it's all stacked up here, but you can see this is that the big swooping parts and letters of the Ford logo. And it's all made out of solid foam. And that's what, this thing does 
So basically is what he's got here is a big uh, hot wire, but in this massive three dimensional like CNC kind of deal. Um, and so anything that you can dream up on a computer in 3D that fits within the parameters of this, they can cut. So like that sign, among other things. So he's actually getting ready to cut something now. Um, unfortunately, not crazy exciting, but it's still pretty cool. Let's see how this works. It's, see, it's just a, just a hot wire. And all it's doing is melting a small cut out of the, out of the foam. So that's very similar to like what happened here. The hot wire just went in and cut that loop out of there. So it makes some really cool stuff here. There's all kinds of shapes up on the shelves that they've created. I'm gonna talk to him about maybe making a 3D martini snake about six foot tall. How would that be? So I wanna show you guys too. Um, that was a real simple cutting that he had to do, but I showed you that Ford, uh, that Ford logo, but it's kind of hard to see. That one's actually really big. He's got another one here that just came out of the paint booth. Um, this one's much smaller. This one's only about four or five feet long, but you can just see the, the intricacies of how detailed, you can see for scale here, how detailed these pieces are and being the hot wire, you, uh, you can really cut just about anything you want um, in, in all three dimensions. So, so for those of guys that watched Brian's videos, building those, in those cages with the, the lock together pieces, that actually happened over here. You got a big CNC machine that cuts all that stuff out. Lots of material, acrylic, PVC. They get PVC like it's freaking paper around here. We can't get anywhere close to Montana, but so that's where all that stuff. This this shop is massive, and they build all kinds of cool stuff here. Um, these are a lot of these are molds. This is not all of them. He's got. Stuart told me there's like 800 different mold skews of things. So he goes and you know makes a an alligator mold like so and then he saves it so we can make alligators you know sorry if it's kind of bright out here guys it's obviously texas sun um i just want to show you the scale of what they're capable of this is obviously another hot tub that they're working on but i mean i'm six foot tall and it's above my hip and this thing's probably a good 12 feet long 10 12 feet long seating for probably eight maybe eight or ten and it's all just done in a mold with the same exact material that is on all the fascias and on all those enclosures and then just uh injected with foam in the back so it's structurally sound and, and insulated and then you dig a hole and drop it in it's really cool so you look at like this is a different rock obviously but you could never pick up a rock like this and it's all this rubbery material filled with foam it's pretty crazy is what the material actually is too for those of you that are curious so you can see this one's not full yet so it's just like floppy rubber um this is basically the same material that you put in the uh, truck bed liner it's basically like linex or rhino liner and it's it's shot the same way it's all done it's all shot out of a gun um and that's how you can get the the shapes so you can see here they make they make these panels so this would be like for doing the backdrops of something or like brian did wrapped it around the uh the trees and around the walls and stuff so it's all flexible because it's not made real thick real thick and then once you get the structure built the way you want it um then you go back and inject it with the expanding foam behind so it becomes structurally sound but still super lightweight so for you for those of you guys that follow my instagram you saw the story when i was down here uh in real time uh stuart wanted to show me this one in particular look at the size of this piece it's look look at this look how big this piece is it's huge and it's so intricate. There's like a little bench down here you could sit on. You got like, I mean, for a, for a massive, if you had like a 15 by 15 massive snake enclosure with like a 10 foot or 20 foot retake in here, this would be super rad. All these different terraces, but the, the, the detail is just crazy. It's hard to explain. Um, and I was telling Stuart, the problem is, you know, you watch all of Brian's videos, you watch this video and that, it, you really can't convey the, the, the totality of what all this is on a video. It's so hard to see, but here's the part that you're not supposed to see the secrets, you know. It's real simple. It's just multiple layers of this thin foam stacked up or glued together or screwed together, whatever, and then injected with foam behind it. You know, it all starts kind of like this. So 
it's really cool. Um, if you're ever down here in the Dallas area, I, I definitely suggest you come by and check this place out. It, it's almost overwhelming, honestly, the scale at which you could do, uh, you can get creative, like trees, you know, just branches that are empty in case you want branches across the back of your enclosure. And, um, we're talking about doing some really cool stuff for our, our setup at home and setups down the, down the road. So let's see. All right, so it might be kind of loud as I walk around in here, but we're in one of the storerooms here. Uh, there's a lot of, this is where a lot of the product is um, and a lot of molds. I got molds everywhere. Like I said, there's like 800 SKUs that he has for repeatable stuff. And then they make just random, random rocks and things. Like if you wanted, uh, if you wanted just a little rock to put, I'll show you here later on another project, but like here, rock B in gray. You want little rocks for your enclosures. They make them in a bazillion different sizes, you know? And you, you think about uh, the ability or the, the usability for this stuff. You can make really cool water dishes. This one's just a rock, obviously, but you can make really cool water dishes. But you think about it, since this stuff is rough and like a real rock as it would be in, in nature, you know, it's gonna help the snake shed. They can rub up against it. They can, uh, they, yeah, it's just, it's super cool. This stuff is just, it's just fascinating. I mean, here's more vines. You know, you can, so you can see here, the vine, they, uh, they make the vine out of the same material and it's just got a, a little metal rod in it. So you can actually bend this in any position you wanted um, to fit your, your setup. And they make uh, inserts for aquariums, for fish stuff as well. You go in this room here, this is where most of the, actually I'll show you first, bunch of backgrounds. This is where you see, like if you wanted, uh, if you wanted just a really cool, realistic looking background for your glass, en glass enclosure. Um, they got tons of sizes of just flat back, flat background stuff, uh, different terracing designs, um, all kinds of cool shit. I mean, you can, you can get real creative here. You know, you can put in, you can put in a background like this, for instance, you know, it's got nice terracing or whatever. And then, and then you put in uh, one of these, you know, just for, for just because, and then you build a bowl. You know, I might have to get one of these. This is cool. I don't need it yet, but we're hoping to put some enclosures in the snake room that for the bigger animals and that, and a bowl like this would be, be super cool. Look at that, it's like a dog bowl. You could have like uh, water and food and, so just really, really, in, sometimes you pick something up, you're like, I don't know what that's for, but I bet I can figure out something for it. Here's those river rocks like I was talking about. You can imagine how big a rock this size would weigh. You know so it's really neat because it's not all just rock stuff they do uh, a lot of acrylic work a lot of they build tanks for fish and um just all kinds of insane stuff obviously all the foam work so we'll see what they're building out over here